I'm Luke Dunn and I work for Reedy Creek Partners, which is our family farm. It's comprised of my father and my uncle, my mother and myself and my wife. Um, and we run a mixed farm here, grazing, cropping and livestock. Um, my background, I'm from precision farming and we're, um, yeah, I'm always trying to find the most economical economical way to give the greatest efficiency in what we do and also be sustainable and look after our land. Since the drought broke, ended sort of 2020, we um, got a lot of rain and we've had nearly four, three to four really, really exceptional seasons, really, really wet. That's brought some of its own problems, but every, every time we, everything brings problems. But yeah, we've had good stock prices and yeah, good yields, good livestock. Um, and we've sort of, we, yeah, have done reasonably well. So we've decided, yeah, to what we've made, we're investing back in to continue on to be able to keep farming into the future. And that's through waterworks and fencing and improving our pastures. Oh, for the last couple of decades, I suppose, we've moved to minimum to no-till, mainly min-till, uh, improved pastures and native pastures on our grazing country. And in the last droughts, or the last couple of droughts, we learned it was really important to maintain ground cover and since then, in the last three to four years, we've had high rainfall and good pasture growth and um, very little water runoff in our traditional dams and waterways. And this has decreased our ability to have livestock on country that does have pasture, but very, very little water. So yeah, we've decided to put a couple of bores together and put a big header tank in and upgrade some pipelines and add new pipelines and interlink all our farming country and grazing country and start putting troughs in. It's a big task and yeah, the last couple of years we've embarked on doing that. Even through the drier, what would have been drier pinches and spells, by having the rotational grazing, being able to maintain the the feed body there and have the water is definitely certainly improving that we've noticed so we can yeah, continue our stocking rate through the year instead of destocking and restocking likewise so it's something we want to keep doing more more work so we can continue increasing our stocking rate I had some cropping country that we're slowly breaking down into rotational grazing country um, and they'll be they're basically 50 hectare paddocks or more and we'll be splitting them down into 20 hectare paddocks and then whilst we're doing the fencing we've been putting troughs in in the fence line so they can be divided like one one trough is being utilized between two paddocks and that's sort of helping keep costs costs down a bit but still providing the water there um, that's something we've done for a while and yeah we've worked well so we'll continue doing we lay them in our grazing country, lighter country, and it's traditionally that water runoff country. It's like you were talking about iron bark country, um, native grasses, and we're currently we're doing an autumn uh, terminal use. Well, joined a terminal size, uh, are lambing down in that country at the moment, um, and we wrote, uh, well we don't rotate. We sort of set stock lamb, but in small mobs of a hundred, in twins and singles. So each. Each paddock on the farm's getting utilised and each paddock needs to have water, but there's there's several paddocks that we'll probably even go and look at possibly that don't have any water at the moment or just about to run out of water with with uh, lambs at foot on the ewe, which is, yeah, it's not really a good situation. And I'd like to thank the local land services for um, providing information and these updates because they're very helpful. Um, they point out a lot of things that are going on or what other people are doing in the area that we might not be doing or that we can learn on. We try to attend most programs that are run by the LLS, AWI, DPI, trying to always improve on what we're doing because we can always do stuff better, trying to always improve our one percenters. If you want to do something, there's plenty of contacts to talk to and they've got good information and they're resources that are there, they're independent of of any major companies or anything, so they give out great advice and it's something that we should, we as farmers and upcoming farmers should definitely support.